All right, so here's a check of the rain that we've seen so far this month, and we have a surplus for the month of close to three quarters of an inch, considering that for the month we've picked up more than three inches of rain. So we're doing okay in the rainfall department and for the year. For the year, we have a surplus of more than six inches, so we we could use a dry day or two with no rain in sight, but unfortunately, we're not going to get a completely dry day, at least not for the next couple of days. So if you're heading out this evening, be ready for some unsettled weather. We do have have scattered showers and thunderstorms. We had some rain around Taylorsville. That's improving, so you're going to have some con better conditions here. Over towards Bay Springs, we have a thunderstorm sitting on top of you. Over towards, let's say, Sandersville. If you're heading in that direction, they're going to have storms. Heidelberg had some storms. Now just some heavy rain. A lot of the lightning is shifting east. Over towards, let's say, Shibuta, we have some more rain that has slid in. You've had rounds of thunderstorms. Now just some steady rainfall. And again, if you have plans on heading south towards, towards let's say, Waynesboro, Again, it's going to be a stormy scenario heading down 45. Heading up towards Petruda, we have more showers coming in. Those are going to sh shift towards the south. So again, just not the best of outdoor conditions. A great time to stay inside and watch WTOK. As we look a little bit further towards the east, we're in Choctaw County right now, and everything south of Butler uh, shows just some lighter showers, not a, a whole lot of heavy rain. Butler is okay, though, but we do have a thunderstorm that has developed south of Collinsville. And even around the Collinsville metro, you're dealing with some heavy rain, and you probably hear some rumbles of thunder, but again, this storm is making its way towards I-20, and I think portions of Meridian will be impacted with that here over the next 5 to 10 minutes or so. And then we have more storms coming in from the north. Again, widely scattered, but they're kind of drifting east and south, so if you're going to head out for dinner anywhere from Philadelphia to DeKalb, have the umbrella because more rain is on the way. And again, as we work our way through the evening, we'll continue with its unsettled pattern. We do have a frontal boundary that is making its way away from the area, but we also have an upper level feature kind of helping with today's weather. So that's why we're dealing with another scenario of just on again and off again, rainy conditions like we had yesterday through 11 o'clock tonight, though, we're expecting things to wind down a bit and we can't rule out a spotty shower overnight. But for the most part, we'll more so watch out for some patch dense, dense fog that we could see patchy dense fog. I should say that we could see heading towards 6 a.m. on Thursday. So if you're going to be out later early tomorrow morning, allow extra drive time. We could have some visibilities below a quarter of a mile. Now, as we go through the morning, the fog should erode away and we should have a mix of clouds and sun. Here's the lunch hour, but tomorrow we're going to have another upper level feature sliding by. We're not expecting the coverage that we have today, but still we're going to have a scattered coverage where some of us could have rain. Some of us may not. Here's five o'clock. We do see some pockets of red and yellow, and even through the evening, some of us may tap into some showers, even though most of our day may, may be dry. So again, tomorrow also keep the umbrella handy as we continue on towards our Friday. Notice the rain chances go down to just the isolated variety. So looking at a drier day for the last day of the work week, it does ramp back up again for Saturday as another cold front's going to come through here. And so that's going to increase our rain chances. But once we get behind that, we will be able to salvage our weekend by Sunday. It's looking much drier. Right now, temperatures are into the 70s for the most part. Rain cooled air and as we look at the dew point temperatures, we also have some 70s. So again, a very sticky environment outside. As far as tonight, there is a potential for some dense patchy fog. Temperatures tonight into the low to mid 60s. And as we head into tomorrow, Get ready for a similar day and maybe a little less coverage of rain. We'll go with 40% scattered, but still we're talking 80s. Still, it's going to be muggy, uh, but again, less rain Friday and the weekend. Not too bad. And no. Next week, also looking a little bit drier as well. All right, well